Oh, hi. You ready for 8.2? Okay, here's the triad from example one. This is pretty simple. Um, if you have a triangle, a bunch of triangles that have side lengths of 8, 10.3, and 13 inches, um, that's only one unique triangle that you could draw with those given side lengths. Because if you were to switch them, you could still flip the triangle upside down and they would fit right on top of each other perfectly. Um, that's it for that one. That was easy. Hi. Well, example two doesn't have a triad. Um, the, the big idea here is if you think about like building a triangle like out of three different pens or something. Um, if you took the longest one and put it down, the other two, when you tip them in toward each other to make that triangle, if they're too far apart, they'll just fall flat. So the idea is that the two short sides of the triangle have to be longer than the longest side if you add them up. Um, I like to think about this like, um, I don't know if you've ever driven down a road before, like a tree-lined road where at a certain time of the year, like the leaves grow on the tree and they kind of make it feel like you're driving through a really beautiful woody tunnel. <laughs> if you thought about this road, if there was a tree on one side and a tree on the other side and they both fell toward each other, um, if the road was small, they would fall toward each other and they would form a point, um, like making a triangle with the two trees in the road. But if it was like a six lane tri uh, six lane highway and those two trees fell toward each other, they would have to be pretty tall trees to actually meet in the middle and form a triangle. So the big idea is the two short sides, when you add them up, have to be bigger than the third side, otherwise they won't meet when they fall in. What would happen if those two trees were exactly the same length when added up as the road? Would that make a triangle? It would not, because if these two added up are the same distance as the road across, then when they fall, the moment they meet, they'll be flat on the ground. So they have to be bigger than that road that they're falling across. And that's it for that one. So for example three from 8-3, there are, are two things that they're talking about here. In example A, um, this is the one where we talked about how if you have uh, the length of side A plus the length of side B have to be larger than, when you add them up, the length of side C. If this is the longest side, when you add up the two short sides, they have to be greater than the third side that's the longest in order for those things to pop up and make a triangle. So um, three side lengths that will form a triangle um, if you had a side length of five units or inches, a side length of six inches, if you added those up, that would be 11. So the third side has to be um, the longest side. So it has to be bigger than six, but it has to be smaller than 11. So anything bigger than six or smaller than 11. So having a third side of 10 would absolutely work. So let's do another one. Let's do one that won't work. If you had a side length of five inches and a side length of six inches, and that third one is um, 11 or larger, you won't be able to make a triangle. Like uh, 50 inches. <laughs> 50 inches across, if you have five inches on one side and six inches on another, they're just going to fall flat and they're not going to be able to make that triangle. Um, you, there's an infinite amount of solutions you could find for A. Now for B, we haven't talked about this yet and I guess I'm making an assumption that you learned about this um, from a previous grade, but an interesting thing about triangles is if you take this angle, this angle, and this angle, um, let's call them angle A, angle B, and angle C. I'm using capital letters for the angles, that's something we'll learn about later. Uh, if you add those up, you will always get exactly 
180 degrees. Angle A, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C has to be exactly 180 degrees. So, boy, I wish we were together for this. This is such a fun unit to do when we can build things in class. So that's kind of a bummer. So um, th this says there's a side length of three inches and that there's an angle on one side measuring 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and an angle on the other side <laughs> measuring 89 degrees, which is slightly less than 90. Well, if we kept going like this and like this, do you notice how the distance, um, like from here to here, from here to here, do you notice how that distance is getting less and less and less and less? Um, that means eventually, if we could keep going, they're going to meet at the top. Um, it's a very, very acute angle um, because you've got one angle that's 90 degrees, another angle that is acute um, at 89 degrees. That would make the third angle at the very top just one degree, which is pretty little. But anyway, that's the end of example three. Try it.